Salam and good day to everyone. On um, this lecture, uh, this is very brief lecture. This is for the revisions of the numbers that we are going to use in the class. I think that we I have to go back to the time when you learn about these uh, particular numbers in your first year, so you can remember those things and try to catch up. Because once we are in the class, I I can shift. Uh, the types of numbers that I'm going to use anyway. So I don't I don't want you guys to make I don't want to confuse you guys. So let's just do a very short revisions on the number on the binary decimal versus the hexa numbers. Okay, in this lecture, uh, there will be uh, three numbers, three types of numbers that we're going to do. We have to we're going to look at the binary numbers. Okay. And then we are going to look at the, uh, the color is uh, decimal number. And the last one will be the hex number. Okay. I'm going to have all this, uh, let, let me this way. Okay, just put this one there. Okay, uh, the one that we are using for our daily life is this number. <coughs> so let's add small. Okay, up to 10, I think. 10. Okay, this is the number. Let's say we are going to use uh, this number. This is number 1. Number 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is the number that we are using for our daily life and there is no problem uh, for you guys to understand. Then we have learned on the other sections on the number, the other types of number which is in binary which is base 2. This is binary base 2 number with two this is going to be a number that only consists of two digits which is is either one or zero okay so you can be like this one one zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 zero zero one zero zero one one zero one zero eleven is what eleven is uh, one zero one one twelve is one one zero zero so there is two okay to make it very uh, standard <coughs> we normally have four digits to complete the numbers. You can see that this is the number that we are going to This is already 4 digits, right? So I'm going to add all here 0 because this is a 4 digits number and this is also 0, this is also 0 and this is also 0. So it's much standard. So, <coughs> bearing in your mind, we need to convert the numbers, try to make it as 4 digit for the binary numbers. So let's go for the uh, hexa numbers, the hexa number will be like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8. And then you have the B, C, uh, this is, uh, I just want to have this one longer. D, E, F, and 11. 12 13 let's uh get the uh the same number in decimal this is 13 14 15 16 17 18 so this is the same number but with two different base so this is base 10 this is n base 10 and then the other one is uh, n base 16 Okay, uh, 
in our class, we normally uh, we always have to convert between this number to binary numbers. We are not going to use most of the decimal numbers here. So it's going to be these two types of number. It's either you're going to uh, go this one to these directions or you're going to have to these directions. Okay. So in order to do the uh, uh, the conversion of it, right, to make it very fast, normally you're going to use four digits for a number here. Like for example, 0001 is equivalent to 1, 0010 is equivalent to 2. So what happened to the numbers here if you have two digits? For example, that you have 1, 1. For, I just want to put red color. So 1, 1, base 16, this is hexa number. So how to convert it to binary numbers, which is base 2. So this is the method. So you have to consider this as one single number and this one as another one single number. So this number is going to be uh, one conversion and another number is another one conversion. For example, this is one, one, then you're going to take this number up, zero, 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 one. And another one is, same one is zero, 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 one. So the total uh, the, the, the correct conversion for the hexa number for 11 is equivalent to this whole number base 2. Let's do the checking on the uh, calculator to double confirm on that. Right here. So you can go to mode. Okay, decimal. You're not going to use decimal, you're going to use hex, hex 11. Then you convert to binary. So that, that's one, right? So in the calculator, of course, this is the one that being used, which is uh, 1001, right? 1001. Here, the calculator do not touch it, but you guys have to use, uh, you have to use this standard to make it another 30 at the front of it. So let's try another number, which is uh, maybe 10, oh, sorry, maybe uh, 89 base 16 so let's try 9 is equivalent to what 9 is equivalent to this one 1001 and 8 is equivalent to 1000 this is base 2 so let's confirm with that just make it as one zero go to hex 89 hex okay then you convert it to binary then you get the number 100, 100, 100, 1. So it is correct. So that is the method how you want to convert the hexa numbers to binary numbers. And you have to remember that every time you want to write down a hexa number, you must use this dollar sign. This is the one that telling us that you are actually using a hexa numbers. If you do not put this dollar sign, this one can be considered as a decimal number, which is base 10. It can be a decimal number. Okay. So of course, same goes to binary numbers. You must put here because this one, without this one, then you possibly going to uh, you, you may uh, interpret it as a decimal number so it's different so in this revision I just want to tell you guys that you, you have to remember these three numbers these three types of numbers and how to convert between them and how to use it okay that's all for this revision very short revision before you can proceed on the programming side thank you very much